strange for you to see that I am not in front of a piano as I try to explain to you exactly what the title says, which is how I understand composers and their music as a musician, as a pianist. The reason that I felt like making this spontaneous <laughs> video, it, this wasn't in my planning for upcoming YouTube vlogs, but I just could not get myself to sit down and edit while I've been on this trip. In case you don't follow my Instagram, which I would recommend, if you would like to follow my journey and my whereabouts a little bit more in real time, but currently I'm in a hotel somewhere in Germany and I've been in Germany for a few days now. I am performing at the Rheingau Festival and playing one cello sonata by Beethoven with Jan Vogler in a few days, so if you happen to really like Beethoven cello sonatas and you want to come see the performance, I'll put the link in the description for you. But uh, I basically wanted to take this opportunity to do a research trip on my favorite composer, which you probably know is Robert Schumann. I just didn't want to travel from New York to Germany just for one cello sonata performance. So I decided to do some research and I have no idea how I ended up being able to do this, but for the past few days, I've been to a few cities already and I have visited some Schumann houses. I went to Zwickau, I went to Leipzig and I got to play on historical instruments, which I love. I just, <laughs> I, I love doing it because it's time traveling back into the composer's time. So I am doing this because it's part of my process now. Least. When I was younger, I just look at the sheet music, I play intuitively, instinctively, and that's kind of it. But nowadays, as I get deeper and deeper into Robert Schumann's music, I find myself treating the composer more as a human. Meaning, beyond just the music sheets, I want to understand the philosophy, the ideas, the perspectives that he had on music, on life what he was interested in, the books that he liked. So around the start of this year or maybe late last year, I've been getting into certain books that I know are related to Schumann's time or books that he enjoyed. I can make a whole book video later, but I'm still in the research phase. So I don't want to make one definitive book list <laughs> video. I still have not finished half the books that I want to read. So please be patient. <laughs> I just basically want to get into the composer's head and it's a bit hard to do that after 200 something years but it still means a lot for me to be able to take this time to experience the different cities that he was in, play on these historical instruments and also for example tomorrow I will be going to a museum to look at a bunch of German romantic paintings just because Again, it's part of that whole German Romanticism research phase that I'm in. I don't know if I should call it research, it's just it's part of my process to understand his music. I've already noticed that the way I approach pianos has changed a little bit, or maybe drastically, I don't know. It's a lot in my head that I unfortunately cannot explain to you, but I will try and I have been vlogging, I just have not sat down to edit because I am trying to immerse myself into this whole aura, I guess. So uh, thank you very much for your patience, but now you kind of know my process that it is beyond just practicing. <laughs> I feel like during the pandemic, there were a lot, a lot of focus on just me practicing, sight reading, but lately I've been trying to understand a composer as a human. So if there's one thing that you take away from this video is to perhaps treat the composers that you are currently exploring their music, treat them as humans and look beyond just the sheet music and beyond just your instruments. So I always start from the score and then I go now more into the literature, the philosophy, the paintings, the things around that time, that culture, that style. 
I think that's my explanation. Vlogs will come in September. This one is just one to update you on what's going on, to tell you that I have not disappeared off of YouTube and that I've been doing something that I've been enjoying a lot. So be kind, keep striving. I will see you, talk to you, I don't know. You will see my face soon, bye. <laughs> I'm editing the video right now about to post and I forgot one last thing which is very important. Thank you for giving me the space to share my passion for classical music for Robert Schumann. I know for sure that I would not have been able to do some of the things that I've been doing visiting these Schumann houses and playing on these instruments if it weren't for you and your interest. So thank you for nearing 300,000. <laughs> it's crazy. But really, thank you so much for giving me this space. And I can't wait to share the vlogs with you soon. But for now, I gotta finish making this update video, post it, and then go to sleep because it's not over yet, this trip. <laughs> so.